and this is my journey through tarot. So today I thought I'd talk about uh, the President Biden's father, who was Joseph Robinette uh, Biden Sr., who died in 2002. He was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and raised in Wilmington, Delaware. So Joe Sr. lived a life filled with challenges, including a period of poverty uh, with his young family. So Joe Biden Sr. was initially wealthy, although I don't know why he was wealthy, but sailing yachts off of the New England coast, playing the hounds and driving fast cards, flying airplanes were pastimes. Uh, he worked for a company that made sealant for merchant marine ships during World War II, but had difficulty finding work after the war and the family fell on hard times. As a matter of fact, the children even went to live with their maternal grandparents for a while. So Joe Biden found work selling used cars, uh, but that didn't stop his children from experiencing the same some luxuries and fun. Uh, President Biden's sister Valerie said she always had nice dresses for school dances. The only difference was that her parents bought them on layaway. His father extended the same comforts to his son, Joe Jr., who, when uh, as a student at the University of Delaware, uh, dad continually loaned him vehicles for weekend excursions. Um, every weekend, Joe Jr. ended up with a car, and it was always a convertible. So besides being naturally cool and dressing right, showing up in a convertible had everyone else beat eight ways from Sunday. Biden Sr.'s influence on his son was profound. Uh, Joe Jr. recounted a story about his dad who quit a job he felt morally opposed to as a sales manager for an auto dealership because the owner, who liked to reward the employees with silver dollars during the uh, annual dealership's Christmas party, decided to spill out a bucket of silver dollars onto the dance floor to watch the employees uh, scramble to scoop them up. Joe Jr. says he learned a job could embody dignity and respect instead of simply being a paycheck. In fact, when Joe Jr. became a senator, his dad gave up car sales. He went into real estate. He said, I don't want a U.S. senator to have a used car salesman for a dad. Joe Jr. also saw the impacts of alcohol on his family. His dad drank and his mother's family had issues with alcohol. So that's why uh, President Biden doesn't drink at all. Biden Sr. believed there's no higher calling for a woman or a man than to be a good mother or a good father. He told his son, Champ, the measure of a man is not how often he's knocked down, but how quickly he gets up. So today I'm going to use these uh, Taro Mucha cards. Uh, they're uh, inspired by the art of Alphonse Mucha, who, if you're not familiar with him, look him up on the internet. Go to Google. You can Google everything these days. So they come in a, a really great box, which I love. They've got a, a nice uh, information booklet, uh, which has very good uh, suggestions as to how you'll uh, read these cards. And then the cards themselves are pretty amazing. I mean, if, if you haven't seen some of uh, Alphonse Mucha's art, do go ahead and Google that. And just look at some of the images there, and you'll see that these cards really um, are of the same, uh, from the same sort of inspiration that Mucha I guess used for his art. They're very um, kind of soft and uh, a gentle uh, reading on uh, still the same sort of uh, iconography of the uh, Rider Waite tarot, but just in this beautiful Alphonse Mucha. Now, you know what? You know, I'm very averse to looking at uh, reverse cards. So I thought I saw one that was in here upside down. I'm going to do a quick uh, run through to see if I can find it and put him back up straight the way he's supposed to be. There it is. What was it? It was the hangman upside down. No, you need to be the way you're supposed to be. And I think that's the only one there was. Um, although this card looks a little paler than the other ones. I wonder why that is. But anyway, uh, so we'll shuffle them up and we'll do the typical Celtic cross. I'm working on another uh, layout for you guys um, and we'll see how it uh, how it plays out. The problem is it's a big uh, layout and requires a large table so I'm trying to see if I can uh, reinvent it into just two separate lines because it involves about 12 um, positions for the cards so we'll see how that goes and um, but in the meantime we'll stick to the trusty Celtic cross it gives you lots of uh, options for interpretation and looking at things in a couple different ways and then zooming in on the present so I kind of like that a lot I'm gonna uh, divide these up Put them back together. 
We'll do one more of these and then spread these cards out and see what they have to tell us about um, Joe's dad. So six cards right off the bat. I'm really drawn to this stack of cards over here, so I'm going to spread them back this way a little bit and get some cards out of there. One, two, three, four, five, and I really do like this end over here, so I'll go back here for number six. Look how nicely these uh, cards gather back up. I should use these more often. Count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to start right off the bat with a signifier for Joe Biden's father, who's passed away in 2002. What kind of uh, energy, uh, Dad, do you want to bring to us? And he starts out as the King of Swords. And just from the very little bit that I know about his dad, this seems like a very fitting signifier for our president's father. The uh, King of Swords is in command. But, you know, even though he, he has the ability to wield this this uh, nice uh, sword of truth or justice or law or order, it looks to me like he's putting the, the, the... He's putting the sword back into the sheath. Because you just have to let people know that you have this power. You don't always have to wield it around. Just let folks know, listen, I stand for this. And now let's go on and have the rest of our conversation. So that's the signifier for Joe Biden's father. The challenge for him, I'm going to say in his life, was the um, Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is, you know, is, is a I'm sorry, the Page of Cups. This is an Ace of Cups. This is the Page. The Page of Cups who is the less, the less um, strength of the court cards uh, comes at us with a, a surprise. Look at this fish jumping out of that, that cup, which is typically how he's seen. And he's in the midst of some very turbulent uh, waters here. It looks like the beginnings of a significant storm. So it looks like a senior's challenge were uh, the emotional uh, battles that, uh, that showed up in his life. The base of this reading for Joe Biden's father is um, the Six of Pentacles, or the Six of Cups, I'm sorry. And the Six of Cups talks to us about um, remembering how things used to be. You know, we mentioned that he had been wealthy, um, I guess, before he had a family or when he had a young family, and then uh, fell on hard times and uh, made the best of it. And so the, the base of this reading would probably be, and I would imagine he may have seen a lot of his life remembering those really good times he had before and perhaps trying to get them back. So the recent past uh, uh, in this reading for Joe Biden's father is uh, the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands uh, talks about celebrations. And again, someone who, who had had a successful life, then had it uh, taken away from him or lost it, and then came back to find more victories in his life. And so that's what the Six of Wands talks to us about. The Six of Wands talks to us about uh, uh, challenges that you've overcome and um, have celebrated. The sky for the president... Uh, father is uh, the seven of wands and again it's defending uh, yourself against these actions that come up against you and those actions that come against you are usually life and you have to find a way to fend off uh, anything that's that's not happy for you but and still command the power of your um, your life the um, future outcome for this reading is then the queen of wands this uh, reading has really got a few wands in it. And the Queen of Wands is, is in charge of her actions. She is, has, has a loose uh, grip on this large wand, which is a movement, actions, making things happen. Um, and you can see that in her background here, there's a, a far off volcano exploding. But uh, she's here, really guarded and safe in her future as uh, the, her master of, of her wands. Then the self of uh, Joe Biden's father right now would be the son. Of course he's the son. He's passed on. He's come to hopefully um, one with all of the uh, knowledge that he picked up and that he's, he gains from the uh, collective consciousness. And, um, and he's traveling, basking in the glory of, of, of what he's achieved uh, in his life and in his uh, death. Then the um, environment that that is in. Is the environment of the Four of Cups, which talks to us of maybe being uh, an offer that maybe we don't want to have, or 
you know, really lamenting over, over what you've got here and perhaps wishing that something else would come your way. So perhaps in his life, um, the environment was, you know, I had something, it went away, and uh, I have what I have now, and let's try to make sure that that's enough. And I should be, I should be happy with that. And perhaps I can make another happy future with that. But the hopes and the fears um, were, in fact, the... Um... Wow, I can't... Det- oh, this is the Fool. Wow, what a beautiful card for the Fool. So this, this beautiful uh, uh, mistress here is, is packed up with her, her, her rod over her shoulder. She's got a little satchel with what she needs for this journey. She's got a healthy conscience uh, guiding her along the way and warning her of the pitfalls and um, and then a beautiful little uh, bloom uh, ready to perk up in this lovely journey that she's embarked on. And maybe that's the journey that he's experiencing now as a soul uh, in the afterlife. And then the final outcome for this reading is the Eight of Pentacles, which talks to us of hard work. And that seems to have been a cornerstone of the life of, of Biden Sr. is uh, this Eight of Pentacles. So you've got these Pentacles, they're, they're ripe, they're ready to pluck, and then finish off and make them to something of uh, value for yourself. And uh, so there's a story in uh, Joseph Biden Sr.'s father's life um, that we could all take a page from. You know, I love this reading on, on our president's father. It shows us that, um, you know, hard work and taking pride in what you're doing is is so much of a reward for all of us. And you can be the sun of your life. You can be the light in the uh, in the in the life of your family and the people that you uh, influence. And you should. Well. I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. Thank you very much for coming along. I really appreciate it. I'll be here tomorrow, so come on back by. Ciao for now.